I will now show you how to use Blackboard Collaborate Ultra within your Blackboard shell. The first thing you want to do is get into your course. Once you are into your course, let's create a menu item for you and your students to use. I will point to the plus sign, click on Tool Link. I will click this down chevron and choose Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. I will type the title in the box above. So this is what we are going to name this link and I will click on Available to Users and Submit. You can see here that it puts a link in your menu. You and your students can both click on this link right here, and it will open up your Collaborate Ultra page. You will see here that you have a virtual course room. If you come all the way over to the right and click on the triple dots, you can click on Join Course Room. You and your students both enter the room the same way. Once you are all in the room, you will see the welcome sign. If you have an external webcam or microphone or headset plugged into the USB port, at this point it will detect whatever hardware you're using for audio and video. Once they're detected, you turn them on and off by using these two buttons down here. Here is where I would click to share my video. I'm sorry, my audio. And here is where I'd click to share my video. and I can turn it off. If you do not have a webcam or an external microphone or a headset with a microphone, you can simply use your cell phone and the students can do the same thing. This top left menu here, when you click on this, you can see here is a dial-in number with a pin. You and your students can simply dial in with your cell if you want and all phone numbers are kept anonymous. Here is also where you will start and stop recording if you decide you want to record your session. This is simply a toggle switch. Click it to start, click it to stop. The students do not see this recording option, only the instructors do. So this menu top left simply controls the recording and gives you the option to dial in with your cell phone. Your menu down here to the bottom right, once I open it up, you will see that you have options down here on the bottom menu. The first option is your chat. If you click on the bubble, this is simply a chat box where you can speak to your students via chat. The second box is the attendee box. It will show everyone that is in your course right now. The third box is the share content box. I'm going to show you how to simply share your screen so anything that you have open on your computer, you can share with your students. I'm gonna click on share application screen and then I need to make sure it shows your entire screen is blue, and then I need to click on this box here as well. Then I click on Share. You will see down here that it is working on sharing all your materials, and then you will see this tunnel. This tunnel is simply telling you that your sharing is working. Once this is working and you see the tunnel, you simply maneuver through your screen just like you would do if you were standing in front of the classroom. If I want to show my PowerPoint, I can open my PowerPoint, I can start my show, and I can go through my PowerPoint just like I was in the classroom. If I have a Word document I want to share with them, I can open my Word document and just like you would do in the classroom. If there is some place that I want to take them on the web, maybe Harper College website, I can click on the tab up here, and now I'm in Harper College website. Maybe I want to go back into my Blackboard course. I can go into my Blackboard course right here, and maybe I want to show them the syllabus or show them something within my course. You are simply maneuvering through your screen like you would any other time. When you want to go back home to the Collaborate session, it's always the tab with the red circle. If I click on this tab, it takes me back to my Collaborate session. I can stop sharing my screen by clicking on this square. If I'm recording, I click here to stop recording. Once I am done with that, I can simply just shut down right here and it will render the recording for me so I can shut down my Collaborate tab right here. So once I am done with that recording, the students can find it 
this way. They can click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. This menu here allows them to toggle between the sessions and the recordings. If they click on recording, they will see the list of recordings that you've made for them to watch. This concludes how to use Blackboard Collaborate Ultra.